Hello beautiful people. Welcome and welcome back to my channel. It's Julie and if you like makeup reviews, makeup hauls, makeup tutorials, first impressions, and all things beauty, then you've come to the right channel. In today's video, I'm going to be sharing with you the seven best setting sprays that I have tried in the year of 2023. When I say the best, I mean the ones that I reach for the most. The ones that I know when I put my makeup on and I go out when I come back, I'm still going to have a full face of makeup. The setting spray that that gives me a beautiful look. It's not too drying on the skin. It holds the makeup in place and it is also good for oily skin. I am gonna show you, actually there's eight, I'm sorry, the eight setting sprays that I find to be the best for my oily skin. If this video is something that you're interested in seeing and you wanna know the best setting sprays for 2023, then you need to stay tuned and watch this video. I'm gonna start in no particular order with the setting sprays. I, I'm gonna just, grab what's in front of me. I'm gonna start with this e.l.f. Game Up Shield Me Setting Mist. This setting spray retails for about $6, if they still have it. This is the e.l.f. Game Up Setting Spray. I love it, I've reached for this a lot. It's really a good setting spray. It keeps your makeup on for a long time. I don't see a lot of oil when I wear this and it also gives a very beautiful finish to the face. I definitely love this. Now, I'm not sure if they even still sell it. It may just be Elf's formula. I'm not sure if this is just Elf's setting spray formula in this bottle, but I will definitely put it on the screen. I'm gonna check, I have to do a little more research because it doesn't say that, but when I did type this in, their regular mist spray came up. So I'm assuming that this is their regular setting spray formula just in this packaging for the Game Up collection that they had like a year ago. But it's one Wonderful. I'm still reaching for it. I have so many setting sprays, that's why it's not going, but this is a really good setting spray. Like, I really love it. Then we have this One Size On Till Dawn Mattifying Waterproof Setting Spray. I think this is a really nice setting spray. Sometimes when you're spraying this, you don't know whether or not your product is coming out. Sometimes there's like a little cast over your face, but it does dry down or you get a sponge and you kind of like dab it in. I wore this when I was on vacation in Dominican Republic and I had a light amount of makeup on, but I sprayed this and it kept my makeup on. I went to the pool, I got in the water, I probably got splashed in the face and my makeup did not go anywhere. So this is nice. It's not something that I reach for every day. This is something that I would use on special occasions. It's not that it's harsh on the skin. It's just not a comfortable formula that I would wear every day. Day, but it is really really nice so I like it but again it will be for special occasions like if I was going to a party and I knew I'd be dancing all night then I would definitely put this on or again if I go on vacation and it's super hot outside and this is something that I would definitely definitely use while I'm on vacation this is the morphe continuous setting mist I love 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 this let me tell you why it's not so much that it prolongs the wear of your makeup it gives the skin such a beautiful glowy finish. It doesn't make it super oily or anything like that. It just gives a beautiful finish. Any makeup that you put on, any amount of powder, you can spray this on your face and it just gives you a really lifelike look. So I really love this Morphe Continuous Setting Mist. I really, really love it. Again, the price will be on the screen. This Danessa Myricks Beauty Set It Forever Oil Control Setting Spray. She has another formula, which is like a regular setting spray. It's not a oil control. I didn't think that this was really gonna work. I was like, oh, people say oil control. You know, when you put this on, you can see the difference in your face. You see the matteness immediately. It's not a dead matte, it's a beautiful matte. Like, you can spray too much of this on. Like, usually I will set my face with this and I'll spray twice, right? Because it does prolong the wear of your makeup. It gives a beautiful finish to the skin, but it could be a little dry looking. So I just Throw my little Morphe on real fast and I'm good. Like I, I love this setting spray. It's really, really a good setting spray. And it has something called temperature control technology. So like if it's hot outside, it will adjust to the weather when it comes to like producing oil and stuff like that. It's really good. Like I, I wear this all the time. It's almost empty and I have a <laughs> backup right over there. Yes, I do. Okay, so this Milani Make It Last Original Natural Finish Setting Spray, 16 hours. Wear. Now, I've never worn it for 16 hours, but I've worn it for, so I would say I wore it for at least 12 hours. This setting spray is $9.99. I know the price. <laughs> this is $9.99. It's a wonderful 
setting spray. It's actually very comparable to this, this Charlotte Tilbury Airbrush Flawless Setting Spray. Party all day, stay all night. They're very similar in formula, very different in price. I wanna say this one is something like $40. This one is at $9.99. They do almost the same thing. They're very, very good formulas. This one goes on and it feels really nice on the skin when it goes on. It doesn't have a real drying effect. This one, when you put it on, it feels a little dry. Just a little dry, but it's, it's very long lasting. It stays on all day. I If I spray this twice, I'm good. Like I'm good for the day. You don't really need anything else besides this. I think Occasionally, depending on how much powder I put on, I may add a little bit of the Morphe setting spray to go with it. But yeah, this Charlotte Tilbury Airbrush Flawless Setting Spray. Party all day, stay all night. I love it. It's really, really good. I actually have two more setting sprays. One of them I cannot find. It's around here somewhere. But it is the Benefits Professional No Pour No More. No, I'm gonna tell you what it is. I, I can't believe I can't find it. I took it with me somewhere. It's in a bag somewhere. Okay, it's called the Professional Super Setter Long Lasting Makeup Setting Spray. Okay, that's it right there. Yeah, I I know it's around here somewhere because I saw it in a bag the other day. But it's a wonderful set and spray. I reach for that one a lot. I think I took that when I went to do somebody's makeup because it really works well. It lasts long. These are all set and sprays that work really well with oily skin. They prolong the wear of your makeup and they just look beautiful on the skin. Like they're not drying. I never broke out from any of these. Like they're not so harsh that it dries my skin out. Like I really do enjoy these products. Okay, so then I have Scandinavia, the makeup finishing spray, a fine mist and it's all free. Scandinavia is the company that makes the oil nighter spray by Urban Decay. When I tell you I love this, they have a primer, a setting spray primer. I used to live by this. No other spray, I was like, nothing else is gonna work for me. The only thing that works for me is Scandinavia. Well, I found out <laughs> down the line that they do have other products that work for oily skin, but it's all about the way you balance out your makeup and your skincare when you prep your skin for the application of your makeup. Then you can use other setting sprays, but this right here, this is a spray that people use for weddings. Like they have a wedding formula that does not move. This is so, so good. I think I have probably like three backups of this and three backups of the primer, the setting spray primer. I don't use it on my channel because it's not a product that you can find in Sephora. Like you have to order it from the Scandinavia site or get it from one of the makeup shows. But it is a wonderful, wonderful setting spray. Like no budge makeup for real. Love this. My last one that I'm gonna tell you about is this LIS natural finish skin loyalty blur mattify set makeup setting spray this is a new addition to my setting spray collection when i tell you i tried this setting spray and i was like mm, it's 24 dollars what is it gonna do you know i'm gonna try it i like to represent for our people i like to represent for all the companies but i like to represent for companies that represent for me this is a wonderful, wonderful setting spray. I don't know if you guys, you see my makeup. This is the setting spray that I set my face with. It's gorgeous on the skin. It's not drying. It's definitely mattifying. It definitely blurs. It definitely sets the makeup. It definitely holds the makeup in place. It keeps it on all day. I've worn this probably for about 10 or 11 hours and my skin, although it gets a little bit dewy, it's not oily and it just looks beautiful and natural. It's a wonderful, wonderful setting spray and it's only $24. I know the price of this one. I bought two backups during their sale for Black Friday. That's how good it is. I just wanted to share with you guys 
my favorite set and sprays. Hopefully this was very helpful to you. If you have any questions pertaining to any of these set and sprays, I'll be glad to answer any questions that you have. I have talked about all of these in my videos. So if you've been watching my videos, you've seen me use at least one of these products. Well, that's it guys. I love you guys. Thank you so much for watching. Please give the video a like and also subscribe to the channel if you're not subscribed. I will see you in my next best of video because there's going to be more coming. <laughs> so this is my best setting sprays of 2023. But that Scandinavia, I've been using this for years. So it's going to be with me forever until they change the formula or until I stop wearing makeup. But it's going to be with me forever. So thank you guys for watching and I will see you in one of these videos up here. If you click on it, you don't have to stop watching now. Click on one of these videos that I have on here and I will see you in the next one. Thank you so, so much for watching. Let me know what you think about these setting sprays. Have you tried any of them? And what do you think about this makeup? Okay. <laughs>